Hi guys! This is tutorial how to make reversible pet bed. It has pillow attached for more comfort and also you can roll it up for easy storage. It cost me about $15. I will put more information on my description. When you get new fabrics from the store, you always pre-wash them with lukewarm water. It will prevent from shrinkage and wash off lints and any other chemicals that might be on fabric. You just squeeze them a few times and you hung dry it. And after it's dry, you can iron it and ready to use it. These fabrics are all washed and ironed. I bought one yard each. You can pick any design you would like. And also you will need this um, polyfiber fill. I used the whole bag. If you're making bed for a bigger dog, you will probably need two bags or more. I will explain this by drawing. So one yard of fabric is 42 inches by 38 inches. It might be different by fabric to fabric, but normally I think this is the size. If I use the whole yard, it will be too big for my small dog. So I will cut off some part I will make it 25 inches by 38 inches. So here I cut the both the fabrics in same size. I made it a little shorter than I planned to because it was a little big for my dog. Take a ruler and measure one inch. Fold the fabric on all four sides and iron it and do it for both of the fabric so the one inches were folded all around and faced wrong side to each other some parts will not exactly match like this if this happens just fold out a little bit with your hands to match the length and pin this so it won't move. Now it's time to make ribbons. It's optional but really necessary for rolling up the bed for storage. It's 3.5 inches wide and 25 inches long. Make it longer if you have bigger bed. Fold half inch on each side and then fold half and iron it and do this for both of the ribbons when you iron the ribbon fold one end and leave the other end free now let's sew the ribbons along the line all the way down These ribbons will go on bottom of the pet bed. Find the middle by folding it half, then put it between the fabric and pin it. Now it's time to sew the edges of the bed. You will just sew three sides of the bed. Leave one side, the wider side, for the stuffing, don't sew this. It has to be open here. Now the fabrics are sewed on together, leaving one part open. 
The next step, I will explain by drawing. So here is the bed, and this is the top of it, and the ribbon will be at the bottom. And this part will be a pillow. It should be wider than the bedding part. The bedding part will be divided into same length, like this. My pillow part was 6 inches and bedding part was 4 inches each. I am using fabric marking pencil to mark the lines. You can get this at any craft store for a dollar or two. I'll put the link in description. Now let's go and sew these lines. Once you saw that horizontal lines, now it's time to mark the vertical lines. Divide this into seam length and draw the line with marking pencil. But this will not be sewed, just not yet. When you're finished with drawing the horizontal lines, it's time to stuff the bedding. Stuff the bedding with the polyfiber. You can put um, just little by little. If you can't get your hands into, you can use the tools. Don't stuff it too much. I'm going to make it light padding. But for the pillow part, stuff it really full so it's very fat. When you're done with the stuffing, it's time to close the opening. Pin the edges and sew it all the way down. Now it's time to sew the vertical lines. When you sew this part, press down and make as flat as possible so fabric does not get pushed back. And now it's all done. This is very lightweight and it's reversible. And also you can roll this and then you can tie it around with the ribbons if you need to put this away or carry it to somewhere else. It's very convenient. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.